Hi, this is Noyam Kodar from Bengal College of Engineering and Technology, PC Bank. This is Digital Communication Lab. Subject code is 691. Today we will perform experiment number 8. As we can see, this is FSK modulation training kit. So here we have PMS data generator, FSK modulator and demodulator portion. There is no carrier signal generator. So carrier signal is internally connected to the modulator. Now first we have connected the PNS data to FSK modulator. As carrier is internally connected, then now we can directly take FSK modulated output from this port probe. So we are connected, we are connecting the channel 2 of CRO to the FSK modulated output. Channel 1 is already connected to data. So here we are taking the PNS data as you see the line is directly connected to here so we can take data input from here here we have connected one ground to one CRO port. as one ground is connected the other ground connection is not required now as the connection is complete we can switch to DSO to see the output. Here, when we run, click on run button or press the run button, so we can see the running signal. So, if you want to see the signal closely, so you can see this is our running signal. So, now we just change this time for division knob a little bit so that we get the proper signal when we have the proper signal we just press the run and stop button again to stop the signal now we have our output here we can clearly see say if you want to change the time for division to see the signal to change now here we can clearly see when the data is 1 we have one type of frequency when the data is zero we have another type of frequency here the frequency is low and here the frequency is high and the same pattern repeats itself here we have one we have high frequency here we have zero we have low frequency so this is fsk modulated signal where we can say that the frequency of the signal is vary according to or as per the message signal. Now I will show you how to measure this F1 say high frequency and low frequency F2 with DSO. So this is our FSK modulated signal. So we have F1 and F2 here. So now how to measure with this. So if you look at the panel, we have a cursor. Now. So I just click on cursor and cursor will appear. So here we can to measure frequency, we select this horizontal cursor. See? We have horizontal cursors. Now to rot move these horizontal cursors, we select like this. So the dotted one will move. Or and we can move like this. Oh sorry, the firm one will move. The firm one will move. And we can move by this variable node. See? So now to take frequency of F1 we just set at somewhere 
in any peak say at this peak again press on F2 F2 again press on F2 see now this line is firm so now we can change or the position of F2 so we are changing the position of F2 and set it to the next peak so now we know we have covered a full cycle so once we have covered the full cycle so here one peak first peak we have cursor at one second peak we have cursor at two here from here now you are getting the frequency so you can see very clearly frequency is 100 kilohertz so this is f1 to measure f2 we do the same procedure so first we just move this cursor and set in any any peak of f2 then again click f2 button on dso when this line is firm now to change the variable and set it to first any peak the previous peak of f2 so now we have covered a full cycle so here you can see here you can see it is 50 kilohertz so the reading is f1 is 100 kilohertz and f2 is 50 kilohertz so that's how we can measure frequency of FSK signal. So that's how our study of FSK signal is completed. So this is modulated signal. Now we can demodulate that signal. So come to the kit again. Here we can see that we have a demodulated section. So if we connect the modulated output to this demodulator and at the output of the demodulator we get the same message signal what we have input to the modulator. Our job is to just connect the modulated output to the demodulator with the patch call. So I'm doing it. see so we have con connected the FSK modulated output to the demodulator now we connect our channel 2 to this demodulated output here so now we can see what will be our demodulated output so at channel 1 you are supposed to see the message signal which is still connected and at channel 2 you are supposed to see the demodulated output so again we just go to TSO and press the start and run button. So here you see at channel 2 just changing this position knob we are just taking this demodulated signal a little bit lower so that we can see the both signals side by side. So now just change the time partition knob so that and make the necessary arrangement so I am changing the volt per division to make the signal looks alike now as we have our signal both the signal we are getting so we press the start and run button again start and uh, run and stop button again to stop the signal now change this time partition a little bit so that your signal appear cleared so this is you can see this is the input signal and this is the demodulated output signal. Here you can see we have the same signal we get at demodulated. So we can say that demodulated is working properly. So that's how our FSK 
modulation is complete thank you